What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive ranked level battles for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. In today's video, we are going to be rocking out with a Durant team, but not just any Durant team. We got a little gimmick going on here. We got a Truant Durant team with Entrainment as a move, so we can actually pass off that ability to other Pokemon. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, Take two seconds out of your day to scroll down a little bit and click that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. I give a huge shout out to each and every one of my subscribers. Seriously, the support has been crazy again. Thank you guys so much. But let's get started here with today's team preview. Starting off in that top left corner with the one and only Durant. I like to call this Pokemon Kevin Durant because you guys know why. Because his name's Durant pretty much. But it is a bug and seal type just like Scissor. Very, very strong but weak to fire. It absolutely gets stumped on by fire, I should say. Because anytime it gets touched by fire, it is dead instantly. It's got the truant ability, like I already mentioned, alongside with that focus hatch as its item. It's rocking Iron Head, Bat and Pass, Struggle Bug, and Entrainment. So really cool Pokemon, really cool gimmick. Cannot wait to showcase it off. Second Pokemon on the squad is going to be Umbreon over here. And Umbreon is just a great support mod on any team. It's got Synchronize as its ability instead of Inner Focus, which is pretty cool. And then it's got the Leftovers as its item. It has Snarl for special attack drops, Protect, you don't want to put Pokemon to sleep, and last but not least, it has Wish for HP recovery. Middle left is going to be our Shadow Tag Gothitelle with that Weaky Berry. It has Trick Room to pop the Trick Room for our Shadow Rider Calyrex and other Pokemon. It has Hypnosis to put Pokemon to sleep, and it's got Fake Out and Protect. Fourth Pokemon is going to be our first restricted Pokemon, and that is going to be Calyrex over here. Ice Rider Calyrex, I should say, with the as one ability, alongside with the Beery Berry as item, so it can eat up a Steel Shot. It's got Glacial Lance, obviously for its best move, and then it's got Sword Stance to set up that attack boost, protect, and then it is also Rock and Trick Room, just like Gothitelle is. Bottom left-hand corner is going to be Kyogre with Drizzle and Mystic Water. Really strong Pokemon on the special attack inside and great for weather control. It's got Water Spout, it's got Ice Beam, Origin Pulse, and Protect for its four moves. Final Pokemon on the team is Serene over here, and this Pokemon is really, really good, especially to counter up on fake-out Pokemon due to its ability, Queenly Majesty. It has a check button as an item, and the four moves it is rocking is Power Whip, Protect, U-Turn, and Triple Axle. Guys, if you want to rent this team for yourself, the rental code is at the bottom of the screen. But let's get after it. Let's hop right into that rank ladder. Try to get some wins with this Truant Durant team. First battle coming at you guys, and I love using off meta teams, but the only problem is we are always going up against strong meta teams. So hopefully we can grab ourselves a win here in battle number one. We are going up against a Groudon and Shadow Rider Calyrex team with Regilecki, Incineroar, Charizard, and Faramosa over here. So we definitely need to pop a Trick Room and figure out a way to pop the Trick Room. And I don't know how I should play this one. Because both Gothitelle and Calyrex really kind of get ripped on by this, uh, by this what's it called? By that Shadow Rider Calyrex. So we need to get after that Shadow Rider Calyrex. I might go Umbreon alongside with a Pokemon, maybe like, hmm, hmm, Durant? I could go Durant as a lead. It wouldn't be too bad. Try to entertainment somebody. Or entrainment somebody. We could, hmm, that's tough. It is tough. I definitely want to go Umbreon as a lead. We could go Kyogre. Kyogre's not too bad. I could go uh, Serene over here. What are you rocking, Serene? What you got on you? You got U-Turn. You got Protect. You got Power Whip. Eh. I would love to pop a Trick Room, but I cannot. If you lead that Shadow Rider Calyrex, we're pretty much in the dumps. But I could go Goth. Do you have Protect Gothitelle? I'm curious about you. You do have Protect. You know what? We're going to go Gothitelle here. I'm going to go Gothitelle, Umbreon. I'm going to bring Calyrex in the back end, and then I'm going to bring Kyogre. I feel like we have to bring Kyogre, right? Sorry, Durant. Kevin Durant is not getting in here in battle number one. Hopefully, we get to rock out with him in battle number two. But this team's just tough to go up against. Shadow Rider Calyrex seems to be a huge threat up against this team. It really does. So hopefully, we can kind of counter us and kind of get after the battle. But I'm thinking maybe I can protect my uh, Gothitelle. Drop a Snarl or something. And get off some big damage onto that Calyrex. And then go from there. But let's see who he ends up leading. He's going to end up leading. Bump -a -bum. Calyrex alongside Faramosa. So, I mean, two very fast Pokemon. Kind of annoying a little bit. But I feel like Faramos always has some gimmick along with it. So I feel like I just snarl here and I protect. Right? Snarl protect might be our play. I think it has to be our play. Let's do it. Let's run it. So I'm gonna snarl and I'm just gonna I could pick out the Faramosa, which wouldn't be bad, but I'd rather just protect this turn. Because again, if a uh, Astral Barrage comes in here, Gothel is gone. Gothel is gone. No ands, ifs about it gone it is dead it gets dumped on <laughs> it gets dumped on so i'm not gonna try to deal with it he's gonna end up dynamax in turn one it's a little scary it's a little scary considering i do not know who it is and, but it might be the calyrex right it is gonna be the calyrex so wow i'm surprised by that he's gonna end up dynamax the calyrex 
I think he's gonna go straight after that uh, Agatha Tellier. I think that's exactly what's gonna happen. So Snarl could be really good for us. I'm gonna protect. Hopefully he goes after Agatha Tellier. That could be a big turn for us. And then I'm gonna see what he wants to do here. He, is he proc a policy or something? He's gonna quick guard. So Fake Out isn't even coming in here. So we just waste out a turn with Pheromos, so that's pretty good. He's gonna end up going for a Quake for a special defense boost into Gotha Tell, hopefully. No, into my Umbreon. The Umbreon's able to soak. I don't really mind that turn. They get a special defense boost. We're really not here to kind of just like do a lot of damage. We're kind of here to try to pop off Trick Room and pester around here and waste out these Dynamax turns at this point now. So Snarl's gonna come out here. That's a solid Snarl on two special attackers. Um, I think I go for a Trick Room now, right? I think I go for Trick Room. Is that thing weakness policy? Oh. Weakness policy? That's wild. Weakness policy popping out on that Pokemon. Um, I'm thinking of just yawning this uh, Calyrex at this point. If he wants to go after Gothitelle, he's going to go after Gothitelle. So I'm going to yawn it and I'm going to go for Trick Room. Hurts the soul, yo. Weakness policy on the Shadow Rider Calyrex. That is scary. Brick Break coming in hot. He's going to do some damage on my Umbreon. Umbreon's going to be able to soak. And I wonder if he's doubling down on Umbreon. We're going to Phantasm. That's got to be into Gothitelle. So Gothitelle goes down here, no problem. See you later, Gothitelle. That's, just, that's awful. That hurts the soul. That hurts the soul. Okay, so we special defense boost at one. Um, I could protect the Calyrex. Uh, what do I want to do here? What do I want to do here? Grimnade's going to boost this thing up. And luckily, we are yawning onto that Pokemon. So yawn's coming out here. Cool. That hurts, man. This thing is, what is he? Plus two? Or no, he's plus three. No, he's plus two. He's plus... Actually, what is he? Yeah, he's plus, he's plus, he's plus two. He's plus two. He's weakness policy proc. He went minus one on our Snarl, and then he just got plus one. So he's plus two. Okay. Uh, what do I do from here? I could bring out Kyogre Dynamax. Maybe just max guard him. I mean, just save Calyrex. Like, what's Calyrex going to do in the back end here? I think Kyogre has to be reply, right? I think Kyogre just has to be reply. I mean, I would love to pop a trick him, so I might just, uh, might just protect this turn, but then he still gets ripped on. This thing still gets ripped on. Let's just go, let's just go Kyogre and Dynamax him. We have to make a play here. So I'm going to Dynamax the Ogre. I am going to probably protect Ombre and try to get some HP back. <clears throat> and then we're just going to, uh, I could guard. I'm thinking of Max Guarding here. Max Guard might have to be our player. Again, I can't really take damage from that thing. You know what, I could wish, in, but eh. I'm just going to protect. Protect into a Max Guard. Let's do it. We have to. We have to have this uh, Calyx here sleep. If he swapped it, that'll be a swap. That'd be a surprising swap for his last time. Next turn on a plus two Calyx. I just don't see that happening. I could have probably true on it or entrainment with the Durant, but would that move affect him? A normal move affect the ghost type? I know sometimes it like stuff like that happens because it's not actually a hitting move. So I think it would actually work. Maybe we could have tried that. That would have been a great play. That would have definitely been a great play. We're going to end up double protecting here. We're trying to get this Yawn off just so we can thrive out here and get some damage off. It's going to be a tough battle. Brick Breaks can come in hot. We're going to soak. And we should be able to soak another one. We should be able to soak another one. So he ends up going into the, the Kyogre like that. And now we have his boy asleep. That is lovely. That is beautiful. Leftover soak up here. And again, we should be able to eat up a Brick. So this thing finally goes to sleep. Uh, what do we do from here? What do we do from here? I definitely want a geyser. At the same time, uh, do I snarl? I just want to snarl here. Actually, I could hard swap here. Hard swap might, hard swap might be my play in the Calyrex. I try to get off a trick room. Yeah, I'm gonna hard swap there and. Do I, do I geyser into you? I'm gonna geyser straight into the Calyrex. Calyrex has got to go. Calyrex has got to go. We're gonna swap for Umbreon. I'm gonna try to get off a trick room very soon here. That's my plan. Try to get off a of trick room. He might have Groudon in the back end for weather control, but I don't think he's going to swap right now for it. So let's see how this one plays. going to go E-Web. Wow, E-Web flying here. Okay, so a trick room can be very valuable to us. A trick room can be super valuable to us. So we're going to end up geysering here. We're going to say bye-bye to Calyrex. That's a solid yawn. We need that all day. And if I can get off this trick room, if I can get off this trick room, guys, we would be sitting very, very well. That's going to fly out here. Bang. See you later, Calyrex. Yo, solid battle so far. I mean, he played perfectly in the beginning there. Really weird combo of the Calyrex and Faramosa with the weakest policy Calyrex. Did not see that coming, but I always love to see some off-meta cool stuff. So, he's probably going to throw out Groudon here if he has it, right? 
No, Incineroar is going to come out here. Incineroar is going to come out here. And, uh, okay. I think I just get rid of that, right? I mean, he's going to fake me out. Probably, right? I could protect. I'm going to protect and I'm just going to guys and get rid of him. That'll be my play. I'm not too scared of that Faramosa. Faramosa is minus one. I mean, but it does have Brick Break. Yeah, I'm just going to protect him. I can definitely see a fake out and a what's called coming in here. A fake out and a brick break. So if I can protect, that'd be pretty good for us. But I wonder who his last Pokemon is. He's gonna end up with Draw and Faramosa going into ground, right? And that's kind of iffy turn because we're just changing weather back to rain. Then I go for a trick room next turn, right? That sounds pretty good. I'm gonna protect my Cali. Cali's gonna protect. He is minus one. I could hard swap him back into Umbreon if I want to. But then the Flare Blitz is flying. We block that. That's solid. That is solid. Guys, just flying here. Should be able to do a decent amount of damage, but not kill the Incineroar. I do dig that turn. I do like that turn. Oh, kill it. Oh, let's go, Kyogre. Let's go. That's a huge turn. That's a huge turn. It's a huge turn. So, the weather doesn't even affect us. And now we're sitting here. He has Faramosa back at full HP. Um, Really got to go for his Trick Room Pop, right? You can't swap Groudon anymore. I got to go for his Trick Room Pop. Do I guard here? Nah, I feel like I just Origin Pulse at this point. Because if I guard and he doubles down in my Calyrex, we're going to have a huge problem. We're going to have a huge problem. So I just feel like I Origin Pulse at this point. And go for his Trick Room if I can. So origin Pulse into Trick Room. And we're going to get after the battle that way. So I wonder what he's going to do here. I do wonder what he's going to do here. E-Web's coming in hot here. That's fine. Slows us down a little bit. Does some damage to my boys. But I think both my guys should be able to eat up Blades. Right? I know Kyogre can eat up a blade. But Calyrex, I feel like Calyrex can do that as well. Blade's coming in hot. Let's go, boys. Soak it up. Soak it up. I love you guys. I love you guys. That's huge eats. Origin Pulse comes out here. Of course, somebody dodges it. Who dodged it? Hit the ground on, please. Ground's the big threat. I mean, we're going to get turns after us anyway. And it does hit the ground on. We take out ground on. No problem. No problem. Ice Fighter Calyrex is going to pop the Trick Room. And that's going to be GG's from there. Yo, what a battle by us. We really, like, it looked bad for us in the beginning. But that's why you always play out your battles. You always play out your battles. And you kind of think of, like, what possibilities you guys can do in your head. And that's exactly what we did. I was just like, okay, how can I win this battle? What is my main thing? And my main thing was, yo, I got to Dynamax this Kyogre if I want a chance at this battle. And then try to get out Calyrex, Calyrex and get off a Trick Room. Eventually, we got Trick Room, but more so us playing Protects really well with Kyogre Dynamax really want us to battle. But well, we have Trick Room out and about here. I'm just going to do that. I'm just going to drop an Origin Pulse, and I think our opponent just cancels the battle, right? Yep, battle was canceled. 1 and 0 to get us started. So, guys, in battle number two, I definitely want to get my boy Durant out here. I want to get him rolling. I want to get that gimmick on the board and at least try for you guys. But battle number one went perfectly. We won that battle, outplayed our opponent at the end there, and grabbed ourselves that victory. But battle number two is looking tough. He's got Groudon. He's got Zacian. He's got Charizard, Incineroar, Grimmsnarl, and Reg Lucky. Should I lead the, the Durant and roll out from there? Or I could lead a Pokemon like Gothitelle or Serene over here just so Fake Out can't be an option. But I feel like the only way it kind of cancels out my uh, Trick Room is with what's it called is with a fake out so i could go gothitelle alongside with calyrex that, that wouldn't be too bad that would not be too bad so i could do that if i wanted to or i could protect my boy i'm kind of feeling like gothitelle's gotta come out here right i think gothitelle has got to be elite so I've, i like gothitelle here i could also go serene just to protect that uh fake out but I feel like we got to go Calyrex here. I think we got to double down with these two. I can always protect one or the other. Well, from there, we're going to bring Durant in the back end. And then last but not least, I'm a, I got to bring Kyogre, right? I got to bring Kyogre. He has three Fire-type Pokemon, and then he has Weather with Drought. So Kyogre is an absolute must come in here to try to counteract the Drought. But I have to try to get off this Trick Room. If I can get off this Trick Room and just get the, my boy Durant out there, Durant can roll out strong up against his It really can. Just entrainment that. Have it start loafing around. That could be really good. Let's see who he ends up with. Is it going to be Incineroar? Maybe these two. Okay. Ah, oh, kind of scary. Just a little bit. Uh, what's my player? What is my player? What is my play? Obviously, I could fake out the ground. I could totally fake out the ground, but then he just takes out my... Uh... But then he just takes out my Calyrex. So I'm thinking of just max grabbing maybe my Calyrex, popping Trick Room. That could be a play. Because I... Dude, I just see him going after my Wizard. I see him going after my boy right here. I could change the weather. 
I could change the weather with Kyogre. But I'm thinking of just Max Garden here. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to Max Garden. I am going to Max Garden. I don't want to take any damage from Calyrex. Or from Charizard into my Calyrex. So, I think he Dynamaxes the Charizard. I think it goes into the Flare straight into my boy. And then I think he Blades on top of that. So, by guarding, we can waste out maybe two turns. That could be really good. Yeah, hey, there's the Charizard. We're hoping he's not going after Gothitelle. We're hoping he's not going after Gothitelle, right? He probably thinks my Gothitelle might be faking out, wasting a turn. All that good stuff. We'll, we'll see what he wants to end up doing. But I'm Dynamax here. I'm putting up the big shield. I'm not playing around here. I'm not playing around here. I'm seriously hoping I get like a 1v1 with the rant and uh and Zassian. That could be hilarious. Not a 1v1 because you know then it'll both just be low from the But so I'm hoping I can just get my uh my terrain out there with Zassian kind of roll off from there. We'll see how this one plays out here. We're gonna max guard here. We're hoping that the flare does come into me. There's the wildfire, and look at that call. Look at that call. Blades should not be able to take me out, right? Blades comes in there, block. Dude, we just made the biggest read ever and got should be able to soak that up and it just dodges the attack so even better the trick room's out and about now that's a lovely little turn i think from here we just drop the ice move into the ground on and we try to put the charizard to sleep with the hypnosis probably your best bet right looking really good yo what a play by us and what a what a bunch of reads great reads by us so yeah we're just gonna drop it like that considering we don't have any other hitting moves battle was canceled oh my god yo quickest battle ever outplaying our opponent right off the rip we just had ourselves the quickest battle of all time. That got canceled after one turn. We just outplayed our opponent and read both of his moves. We called that happening. We called him G-Max Wildfiring right into our Calyrex, and then we called Blades on top of that. He did miss it on Gothel, but Gothel was eating that up anyway. Gothel was definitely going to soak that up. We Max Guarded. We blocked both those shots, Pop Trick Room, and then the guy was just like, nah, yo, I'm out of here. I'm done. I just got outplayed, which is hilarious. But we're hopping into our third and final battle. Let's get Durant out here in this third and final battle. I kind of want to lead him. I kind of want to lead him and get after it. So I'm going to go Durant with the lead. And then I might go Gothitelle as the lead again just to try to pop Trick Room. Could be really good for us. He also does have uh, Intimidate. But I think we should be fine with this. Or I could go Calyrex. No, you know what? I'm going to go Gothitelle try to pop Trick Room. So I'm going to go Durant. I'm going to go Gothitelle. I'm going to bring Kyogre in that back end. And then last but not least, we got to bring Calyrex, right? It's just our best option. It is just our best options. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. And we already guaranteed ourselves a winning record, which is absolutely amazing. I want to get the rant out here. I want to get the rant out here. I want to get him rolling. I want to use uh, Entrainment on somebody. But I know that Entrainment does not work on Dynamax Pokemon. I think if you uh, give them True Ramp before they Dynamax, it will work. But you cannot give it to them while they're Dynamax. And this is actually perfect. I can actually... Uh, I could actually pop a Trick Room, but that's kind of scary. That is kind of scary. I definitely want to uh, entrainment right here onto the, the Zassian. I definitely want to give that thing true on. And then I want to try to pop a trick room. I do definitely want to try to pop a trick room. That's what I'm going to roll for. Let's do it. Let's do it. So I'm going to try to pop a trick room. Behemoth Blade's going to come through here. And he's going after Gothitelle. Gothitelle, can you soak that up? I should have maybe protected Gothitelle. And Gothitelle does soak, which is really, really good for us. And Trayman goes next, so now this thing has True Arm, which is sick. So every other turn, he's going to be loafing around for the rest of the battle. Have it. Have that. How do you like that? Fire Wrath coming in here. Can you soak that up, Gothel? No, super effective on you. Okay, that's fine. I wish that Wiki Berry would have popped. Yo, 48? How close were we to popping that Wiki Berry? That could have been really good. So we're going to do that, and then on top of this, I think we bring out Calyrex. Does he loaf around here? That's my real question. He might loaf around here. Actually, my Durant's going to loaf around. I kind of got to see what turns these things are loafing around. Because I don't know if that Zassian loafs around this turn or next turn. And it's kind of scary. I kind of just want to Dynamax. I mean, I'm going to... I'm loafing around this turn, which kind of hurts, but... This will go here. I'm just going to protect. I'm just going to protect here. We might end up Dynamaxing, which could suck. But I think Zassian loafs around next turn. I think it does go next turn. Because this will be his first turn with True Run. So if I can block these shots, it could be good. It could be good. Because I can pop Trick Room freely next turn. I am Trent. I am... Who's loafing around? Oh, we're both... Dang, dude. That was a turn. That was a turn. I missed it. That was a turn. I missed it. Okay. Uh, We go for Double Protect. I might go for double protect, or I could hard swap out. 
I'm gonna hard swap out. That was a turn. That was the turn to do it. God dang it, that was the turn. That was the turn to pop Trick Room. But Fatboy could have did me dirty. I don't like that. Fatboy could have did me dirty. That hurts the soul. Behemoth Blade probably coming into my Kyogre slot. That was the turn to do it. See, it's always tough doing doing new gimmicks that you never did before. But at least we're out here having some fun. I don't care if we really lose this battle. We just can't get swept. It's going to do a ridiculous amount of damage onto me. We're going to give this thing... I got a crit. Are you kidding me? We're going to give this thing entrainment too. So all you guys are going to be loafing around this turn. <laughs> Yo, Durant's going off. Durant is not playing around. Durant is not playing around. Foul play's coming out here. You should be able to eat this up. Beautiful. Love you. So all these guys are out for the turn. All these dudes are out for the turn. And then from here, you know what? Uh, Good bat pass, but I guess I'll just... We're, they're, they're all out for the turn. And I'm just going to go for this order pulse. Let's do it. Let's do it. going to withdraw his Pokemon. That's fine. Who's he going to roll into from here? Who are you rolling into, kind sir? Shit Ninja, you little biscuit. <laughs> Everyone's loafing around here. Everyone's loafing around. I think it stays that ability, which is good. I think it will stay. They'll all stay truant. I don't think swapping out really does anything. There's this. Popping off some big damage on the U. And then, obviously, I can just protect the Kyogre. Now, I'm going to see if I can actually give this thing. That would be amazing. That would be amazing. <laughs> that would be awesome. That would be awesome. I'm going to protect my Kyogre. Can I entrainment you and take off your Wonder Guard? Take a sword coming in. Can you eat that Durant? Dang it, Durant. Dang it, dude. I think he, I think he gets to protect. So, from here, I'm going to have the Dynamax Calyrex. Kyle is going to have to be your Dynamax 1000% and I kind of just want to try to pop a trick in this turn. Hoping this thing's not rocking Shadow Sneak. Shadow Sneak could do me dirty because he's loafing around this turn. I don't really see him doing too much damage onto me. And then I can pop a trick and kind of get it for the battle. We have Unnerved so no berries loud. No berries loud. And yeah, I'm going for the trick room here. I'm going for the trick room and I'm going to go for the Sword of Bulls. Actually, I should just Ice Beam into the Zassian. But dude, if we could have, if we could have entrainment that, uh, that shit injured, that could have been a great play. So he's going to hard swap here. And who's he going to roll into? Lunala's coming out here. So Trickham's going to be pretty good. Trickham's going to be pretty good. I mean, of course he dodged that attack. Poltergeist going to come out here and Kyogre's dead. That's ridiculous. And he's dodged attacks. Okay, it comes down to my boy. I'm not too worried about that, uh, shit ninja because I can KO it with, uh, Buffets. But at least we get off Trickham. That kind of hurts, yo. We have two Pokemon that can live around. He sells Dynamax. We still have Trick Room, which is really good. Behemoth Blade, we just have to watch out for. Behemoth Blade, we just have to watch out for. And if Truant does stay onto these guys, that could be really good for us. Because then I can just protect Glacial Lance, protect Glacial Lance, protect Glacial Lance. Unless he gets it on other, uh, every other turn kind of basis. But yo, not bad combos, dude. Not bad, yo. I love the Truant. I love the Truant, but we can't get swept here. But I feel like once we set these buffets, we can just get rid of this uh, Cheninja. And that'll keep us from getting swept. But I still feel like we have a nice chance with all the Truants on the board. Like, tons of Truants on the board. And we have Zassian down to really low HP. We can take out Moltres pretty much in one shot. I shouldn't say one shot. But we can do some big time damage. So Let's see what he ends up doing. Is he going to end up Dynamaxing as well? He is. So Dynamax versus Dynamax here. Kind of scared of that Ghost move. This move is scary, but we're going to see how much damage we can possibly do with this Pokemon. We are going to see. But this Lunala is a pain, dude. This Lunala is a pain. God dang Lunala. You know he has a rock move, too. There's a bunch of different options here. He's going to go for the Poltergeist, and he outspeeds me. That speeds me a slow, low booger. This slow, low booger outspeeds me. We're going to go for the Hailstorm. We're coming in hot. We're trying to get off something, man. Kind of sad that he that he Dynamaxed his Pokemon. And yeah, this is not looking good for us. This is not looking good for us. Hopefully, we can eat up the shot and get rid of that shit ninja because I cannot get swept on a video. But not going to lie, dude. I really like this uh this gimmick here. I really do like the gimmick. I really do like the gimmick because honestly, we had a shot. We had a shot here. This Lunal kind of just took us out. Lunal was definitely a problem. But look at that. We get rid of shit ninja. We ain't playing around. I'm not playing around here. Buffets are flying through here. Um, yeah, this is not looking good. Not one bit. 
Not one bit. And I'm kind of curious to see if this these other Pokemon would have been loafing around. Because Lunala was legit the only problem. If we get rid of Lunala, I feel like we would have just ate up and won this battle easily. I can actually take out him. I can actually get rid of him. But you know what? I'm going to guard this turn. I just want to see if that thing would have been loafing around. The next turn. It should. I'm a guard here. I mean, it's pretty much over with. He's going to go for the Phantasm. We block. And I'm pretty sure he would be loafing around next turn. But we're not even going to be able to see. Which kind of stinks. It does definitely stink. But yo, Durant, I'm loving it. I'm loving it. You know, that's it. This bird's dead. We're KOing this bird. Hope the bird tries to protect and it's just loafing around. Nope. We go for a Hailstorm. We're going to get rid of the bird. We're going to say bye-bye to that. His next max, max Phantasm just takes us out. And that's going to be GG. So, like I said, we would have been thriving in this battle. The rant was awesome. It was definitely really, really cool. The entrainment was sick. But once Lunal came out here in Dynamax and we only had Calyrex left, it was definitely tough on our end. That's why I wish this Pokemon was flying. We could have just dumped on it. But he's going to go into another Max Phantasm. He's going to take us out, and that's going to be GG's. But, uh, yeah, if you would have brought out Zacian, I would have legit protected it. Wait, well, say Trick Room wasn't out and about. I would have protected it. He would have hit me, and then he would have loafed around next turn. And then I would have hit him. Then protect it again and rinse repeat and probably win the battle. We almost pulled off that victory in battle number three. Definitely would have been really cool, but I'm really glad we got the show off Kevin Durant in battle number three. We got the entrainment on that Moltres and more importantly onto that Zassian. They were all lifting around and I probably could have had a better battle if I knew this gimmick a little bit more because there was a point in the battle where I entrainment the Zassian. And I knew it was going to be loafing around, but I didn't know if it had one turn and then it loafed around or if it was just loafing around next turn. And it was loafing around on the turn that I protected. So if I did not protect my Calyrex, I could just pop the Trick Room and I legit could have just been rolling that battle from there. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread positive day and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.